Again, I just wanted to give a shout out to Bulk Reef Supply. They've always been there for me for all of my uh, reef keeping needs and uh, they've got excellent tech support, customer service, and uh, speedy order fulfillment. So if you haven't been there yet, BulkReefSupply.com. Hey guys, this is kind of a part two, a follow up on that last video I just put out. Um, this is what I've ended up doing. I've had a little extra time today, so I cut way more than what I thought I was going to end up cutting. But uh, with having done that, I'm reasonably sure that this is going to work a lot better. And I found a new clear tube that I had stashed away. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this uh, experiment with the bigger cutouts with all new uh, cartridge and uh, carbon and GFO. Okay, so this is what I'm going to uh, base this new experiment on. Okay, here's a picture of my loaded canister. Um, it's 30 gallon show tank or uh, frag tank rather and 20 gallon sump. So according to BRS's calculator. I uh, needed six tablespoons of the GFO and eight tablespoons of the carbon. So this is my cartridge before we stick it in. And we'll be back. Alright, looks like we're ready to uh, install the reactor. Only thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the top. I may have cut out too many of the slots. I'm seeing where uh, carbon can pass through. But uh, let me get this spun on and then we'll uh, give her a leak check. Okay, we've got it set and tumbling just about the way I like it. Nice uh, overall tumble. You can see that. Um, a lot of these things I say, I don't mean to insult anybody's intelligence, but uh, here's a little tip for you. Make sure whenever you're putting in new carbon to always run your outlet from your reactor into a bucket before you put it into your sump because of course it's going to flush that black water from the uh, sediment of the charcoal away rather than put it back in your system which can be ugly and uh, what I always like to do is I run my reactor back into my skimmer chamber and on my other tank, I've got a uh, biopellet reactor that I run the outlet of that back over to the sump compartment as well. So that basically the uh, skimmer, I mean the skimmer compartment, basically the skimmer can pull all that residual out of there. So just a couple food things to think about. Food things to think about, I guess. Just a couple things to think about. Alright, so having said that, thanks again to Bulk Reef Supply. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.